Okay, here's the four step process for finding the derivative of this function right here. F of x equals two x cubed plus four x minus five. Uh, the four step process is also called the definition of derivative. Uh, and it helps for you to visualize the function defined like this with empty parentheses. F of something equals two times something cubed plus four times the something minus five. So when we're finding f of x plus h, we're actually putting x plus h in each set of parentheses here and then simplifying that. <clears throat> so there is the parentheses filled in and now we've got to simplify that. So we've got to cube this expression, which is what I have written here, four terms. If you don't remember how to do that, you could take x plus h times x plus h times x plus h. That's what you get, end up with. Or if you've heard of the binomial theorem, you could do it through the binomial theorem. <clears throat> uh, anyway, we can distribute this four over its x plus h. And finally, we distribute this two over every term in here. And there's the final form for f of x plus h. Of course, f of x is easy. We just put x in the parentheses and we end up with the original function definition. <clears throat> Step three is to find what we call the difference quotient. It's actually the change in y over the change in x. Uh, and if I subtract f of x from f of x plus h, that means I'll be taking the opposite of every one of these terms. That's why I have a minus 2x cubed, a minus 4x, and a plus 5. <clears throat> I've lightly crossed out the similar terms, or the terms that have been combined to 0. And that leaves us with these three in the numerator, 6x squared h plus 6xh squared plus 4x. And not, I'm sorry, not 4x, plus 4h. <clears throat> and each of those terms contains a factor h. And if I factor out that h, I get h times that quantity, but the h's in the denominator cancel out. So what I'm really doing is I'm taking the limit of this thing as h approaches 0. And as h approaches 0 but does not equal 0, these numbers will always cancel out because they're factors. And now I can take the limit just by substituting 0 for this h right here. That term drops out. And 6x squared plus 4 is the derivative of the original function. And that is a formula for slopes of tangent lines. to the graph of the original function. So you're going to get uh, problems extended that say, like, write the equation of the tangent line at the point where x equals 1. So at the point where x equals 1, the original function has a value of 1. So I put 1 in for x. Uh, what's the slope of the tangent line? at the point where x is 1, I put 1 in here. So we say f prime of 1 is equal to 10. And now I can write the equation of the tangent line as y minus y sub 1, that's this one right here, equals the slope, which is 10, times the quantity x minus x sub 1, where x sub 1 is 1. So y equals 10x minus 10 plus this one when I transpose to the other side. So 10x minus 9. There you go. I hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.